All right, so we got to talk about what's going on in Ukraine in regard to, uh, we've talked, uh, you know, about Sean Penn being there and also Max. So some of the stars are fleeing due to the conflict with Russians. So Max Chermaskovsky from Dancing with the Stars posted this video. You may have seen it as he was boarding a train to Poland. He called the entire experience, quote, traumatizing and later said he was in a packed train with adults and children. Meantime, Sean Penn tweeted out this photo walking to the Polish border after abandoning his car on the side of the road. He said the line of the cars in the photo carry women and children only, most without any sign of luggage. And also some movie studios are boycotting Russia to protect the invasion. Warner Brothers said it was pulling the release of the Batman in Russia. It was supposed to come out there tomorrow. Disney is pausing all of its theatrical releases in the country and Netflix is refusing to air Russian state TV channels, something, by the way, that it would have been required to do starting next week. Okay, so let's talk about some of the boycotts, Jeff. What do you, do you think that they're going to be effective? You know, it doesn't on the surface seem like it's a big deal. You're going to pull the Batman, you're going to pull some of my Netflix shows, but all this put together, taking down some of Putin al Putin's allies, stopping the flow of money, you can't bank anymore, you can't do this. These little things are gonna affect the people directly, right? And those little effects that are affect, those things that are affecting the people are gonna make them turn on their government if they haven't already. So I don't know what the, the vibe is like in Russia itself as far as going into Ukraine, but I think all these little things, we can't physically have boots on the ground. So I kind of applaud these companies for doing what they can and trying to do their part to, to, to try to contribute to, to Ukraine in some way. I mean, yeah, it's it's in a weird way. It started me made me think about cancel culture in a way. I feel like we use it wrong. But in this situation, Russia is being canceled. We are isolating them from the rest of the world, whether it's entertainment, Erica, whether it's the, the their access to their money in Switzerland. They are being actively canceled in front of us and isolation in a weird way is almost worse than anything else you could do to people. You see that when stars are canceled, they lash out like, hey, what do you mean you're not going to work with me? You're not going to put me in movies. You're going to pull my movies from the shelf. It's because there's a weird thing about when you're almost being ghosted from the rest of the world in every plausible way that human beings interact with each other. And I want to see what kind of pressure this will put on the, the, the Russian oligarchs, but also if they respond, because Erica, it doesn't seem like they check their social media a whole lot this is I mean obviously this is such a layered conversation um, when you say I agree with you I agree with both of you Al that cancel culture thing was uh, that was next level thank you for sharing that with us <laughs> uh, the difference is uh, most people don't have access to nuclear weapons mm. and I think some a lot of these stutter stepping you know things that people don't feel are enough have a lot to do with that. And I think it's very, um, it's a little too real to talk about it that way. It's very scary to talk about it that way. But I think that that's a major part of the equation and that's why we're having this conversation instead of that conversation. I think we're also looking at well something said. in real time, almost like a test subject, right? Because we're so used to fighting wars with combat. And to see that other countries, including our own, may be fighting a financial war. We're going to see how that plays out. And I think in the long run, I think that will change everybody's mentality when it comes to their um, idea of how they're going to fight those wars. So we'll see if this works. Uh, um, I hope financially. Let's and hope I, it does. I hope isolation. I hope, I mean, that's Less much casualty. more peaceful. Mm -hmm. Exactly.